Hi dear students this is Sheikh Hussain PGT in chemistry today we are going to discuss first chapter in 12th class that is solid state in 11th class you have studied under chapter 4 that is a uh, states of matter in this chapter you have studied uh, what is matter and different types of matter okay let us briefly discuss once again so do you remember what is matter no problem matter is anything which has mass and occupies some space matter is anything which has mass and occupies some space let us take few examples pen it is having some mass it's occupying some space so it is a matter chalk piece is having some mass occupying some space this green board having mass occupying some space so everything even water having some mass occupying some space oxygen we inhale gas is also have mass no so it's having mass and occupying some, some space vehicles water bottles benches chairs mobile phones anything number of examples we can take but when you observe these substances are classified into three types based on the physical state they are solids liquids and gases in 11th class you have studied about uh, gases and liquids these are also called uh, fluids now in 12th class we are going to discuss about solids under this chapter solid state before going to that let us know what are the factors responsible for the existence of different forms of uh, matter actually there are two uh, factors which are responsible for the existence of uh, these three different forms they are number 1 thermal energy thermal energy number 2 intermolecular forces intermolecular forces let us discuss about these two factors briefly to understand this let's start with uh, thermal energy actually this thermal energy depends on temperature temperature yes temperature increases thermal energy also increases so thermal energy and temperature both are directly proportional moreover in 11th class under the chapter states of matter you have studied that temperature is directly proportional to kinetic energy or vice versa kinetic energy of uh, constituent molecules is directly proportional to temperature that means when we increase the temperature kinetic energy of constituent molecules of matter also increases in 10th class also we have studied uh, under uh, the chapter heat uh, under one activity that uh, will take uh, some water in a bowl and will heat that uh, water as the temperature raises the water molecules start moving faster and faster that means the kinetic energy of uh, water molecules increasing as a increase in temperature that means as the temperature increases kinetic energy of molecules also increases here one small question when we increase temperature kinetic energy of molecules also increases why because when we increase temperature the constituent molecules of that particular substance absorb heat energy so that they start moving when they start moving the kinetic energy increases when kinetic energy increases these molecules move away from each other that means their intermolecular distances increases they move away from each other so the intermolecular distance increases as the intermolecular distance increases the intermolecular forces among the solids 
gases or liquids decreases isn't it when the molecules are moving away from each other the intermolecular forces decreases that means when temperature increases kinetic energy increases when kinetic energy increases the intermolecular intermolecular distance increases uh, ultimately intermolecular force intermolecular force among the gaseous molecules or liquids or solids decreases so if you can understand this uh, sequence it will be very uh, simple to understand why different uh, substances exist in different physical forms okay let me ex uh, explain once again here temperature is a uh, is playing a key role when we increase the temperature thermal energy of the substance increases <coughs> then kinetic energy of the molecules also increases when kinetic energy increases molecules move away from each other so intermolecular distance increases means uh, molecules move away from each other and uh, intermolecular distance increases when intermolecular distance increases then automatically intermolecular forces if they are close together if the molecules are very close then intermolecular force will be more if molecules are moving away their intermolecular forces decreases that is a thing happening here that means my dear students here when we physical state of the uh, substance depends on mainly on temperature and thermal energy the uh, this thermal energy plays a very important role next to understand this let's take a uh, one small example that uh, this example uh, you might have studied in lower classes very simple example that is ice ice upon heating ice upon heating converted to water water here ice is, is in a solid state water is in liquid state and water in further heating about uh, 100 degrees celsius then it is converted to vapor or steam vapor or steam which is in a gaseous state here why so ice which is in solid state gradually converting converting into vapor which is in gaseous state so the same thing ice which is uh, at uh, around 0 degree celsius temperature when we start heating ice the kinetic energy of water molecules present in ice increases when kinetic energy of water molecules increases they start moving away from each other when they start moving from away and it start melting and converted to water which is in liquid state if we start heating to further higher temperatures that is uh, around uh, 100 degrees celsius then the distance among the water molecules become more and more and more so finally it will it will leave that means uh, the constituent molecules of water leave the surface of water and evaporates that is called uh, evaporation and the temperature at which uh, water converted to vapor is called boiling point okay here the temperature at which ice melts into water is called melting point okay dear students so this is a very simple concept but here from this example we can understand a few basic things that is uh, ice which, which is at a solid state at what temperature zero degree celsius temperature vapor which is at uh, around 100 degree celsius water in the, in the form of steam which is uh, around at 100 degrees celsius okay now means is it is in gaseous state that means uh, solids have lower temperatures gases have higher temperatures otherwise solids exist at lower temperatures gases exist at higher temperatures okay why solids exist at lower temperature when temperature is low the kinetic energy of constituent molecules also low when kinetic energy is low or less intermolecular distances are also less the molecules move closer and closer when intermolecular distances becomes less when intermolecular distances becomes less 
intermolecular forces increases means uh, when molecules are moving close together their intermolecular forces increases so uh, by to understand this let's take a small uh, uh, diagrammatic uh, uh, representation so you might have studied in uh, class 9 that in solids uh, molecules are closely packed molecules are very close to each other and the gap between one molecule to another molecule is almost negligible, very short. So this is a simple representation of solids. And in liquids, the molecules have higher kinetic energies, so they move away from each other. So there is a comparatively large distances among the gaseous molecules. It is called liquid. So in liquids, uh, the molecular distances are more. Next, uh, when you see the gaseous uh, substances, intermolecular distances are very huge. Means the gap between one molecule to another molecule will be very large. Okay. This, uh, rep this representation simply tells. Now, you see, here in solids, since the molecules are very close, the intermolecular forces, intermolecular attraction also very huge. So, solids have higher intermolecular forces, but the temperature is low. Whereas, liquids, uh, in liquids, the intermolecular distances are more in comparison with uh, solids uh, so their uh, intermolecular forces will be less uh, in comparison with solids when i when we come to gases the molecules are very far from each other so the intermolecular forces will be least so my dear students from this explanation finally what you have to remember is solids have solids have high intermolecular forces and, uh, and less thermal energy. Intermolecular forces will be very high and the thermal energy will be less or very less where uh, in comparison with uh, uh, liquids and the solids. Okay dear students, now let us move on to the characteristic properties of uh, solids. These are the characteristic properties of solids. Let's discuss one by one. First one, solids have fixed mass, volume and shape. Solids have fixed mass, shape and volume. For example, if you take uh, this chalk piece, it will have some mass. Let's say for example, 20 grams. So its mass will be fixed, 20 grams. And it has fixed, sh fixed shape. It has fixed shape and it is occupying a fixed volume. That means you take any solid substance, it will have fixed mass, fixed volume and fixed shape. Next, uh, intermolecular forces are very strong. Just now we discussed uh, intermolecular distance is very short. That means molecules are very close to each other. Since the molecules are very close to each other, they have very strong intermolecular forces. Next, uh, solids are incompressible and rigid. Solids are incompressible and rigid. Incompressible means uh, it cannot be pressed easily. See here, can, I, can we press this solid substance? Or if you take an iron, can, you, uh, can it be compressible? No is uh, incompressible. Solids are incompressible and uh, hard, rigid, strong. Next, uh, their constituent particles have fixed positions. In solids, uh, just uh, before I told in solids, uh, molecules have fixed positions. They are tightly bound with each other. Right? They have fixed positions. They, not, they do not move here and there. Their positions are fixed. Next, uh, their constituent particles have fixed positions and they oscillate about their mean position and they oscillate about their mean position. Means they, they do not oscillate from one place to another place but they oscillate from their mean position. So for example, let us consider myself as a, a molecule in a solid substance. Suppose uh, if I would like to oscillate, I have to oscillate like this. 
that's all i cannot move from my fixed position so they oscillate about their mean position they do not move from one place to another place so these are the characteristic properties of uh, solids that's all dear students okay here i would like to give you two questions for practice okay try to answer those two questions by listening this video one or two times you try to answer yourself okay in next uh, in my next video i'll start with the answers of those two questions and next we'll continue our topics okay the questions are number 1 actually these are the questions given in our textbook these are called in text questions number 1 why are solids rigid why are solids rigid next number 2 question number 2 why do solids have fixed volume why do solids have fixed volume try to answer this question try on your own okay you will get the answers for these two questions in a next video okay see you bye thank you